Hey guys, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I definitely appreciate it. Tonight, I'm joined by my friend Steven, and uh, we're going to do a review together. And uh, this is going to be a beer from Burial. Uh, I was just in Asheville and picked this up, and uh, I picked up some stuff from Steven, and we kind of... Um, interchanged a little bit of the beers and uh we thought we would do a few of these as a uh collaboration type thing so and steven i think you've had one beer from them so far i think right um yeah uh the names of these escape me so i know they're so drawn out and crazy they're uh, poetic and yeah long for sure yeah this one's actually called instructions for the underworld uh this is actually one that I picked out and you didn't. Right? Yeah. 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 Um, All you found at the apex of insanity. Yeah. That was the other one. Yes. Um, I'm not going to read all this because it's just some crazy, crazy thing on the, on the label there. But um, this one says it's made with the Holy Trinity of incognito cryo and hot pellets, uh, double dry hopped with Citra, Motueka, cashmere and Centennial. So it's got a nice <clears throat> little bit of uh, new school stuff and old school. The Centennial is more old school. And Citra has kind of been around for a long time. Uh, any ideas on what's going on with this label? It kind of looks like an eyeball. And the skeleton yeah. in an eyeball. Yeah. Um, <laughs> crazy looking can. I'm not going to lie to you. I was on their site. And there's a few, there are a few things that drew me to this can specifically. Okay. Number one is the can art. It was the only one that, I don't know, maybe it wasn't the only one with the skeleton, but it was the, it was the one with like a full skeleton that kind yeah. of drew, drew my attention. Yeah. Uh, the words on it, I know you said not to read them. Oh, I mean, we can't, um, it doesn't matter. Well, I'm saying <laughs> I read it on the site and I was yeah. like, that, that kind of drew me in. And well, now we're gonna tell them is that this is the the name of this beer is a lot shorter than the rest of them. <laughs> That's true. I'm not gonna lie to you; that played a part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one, I'll go ahead and read it. It says, "This was a resolution with the gods, a perpetual isolation within a tomb that embodies the most ter terrifying concepts, a place that promised eternal understanding. Perhaps it was." intended to make us numb to damaging or damning thoughts sorry made with barley oats and then the part i already read about the hops so yeah that's pretty cool and this one comes in at 6.6 percent so yeah um i was gonna say I've, been sitting out for, I've, I've seen like, it for a while now yeah i feel like mine's been sitting out for like 40 minutes so uh mine was sitting out for a while but then I'll, i felt like it was sitting out a little too long so i uh, I went and swapped it for a colder one. Well, I had to wait on Dan from FLX Beer Reviews to give me the code for uh, StreamYard so we could do this video. So thanks, Dan, for this warm ass beer. No, I'm kidding. It'll probably be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and pour it. Have you already opened yours? Yep. I'm not going to lie. The smell smacked me in the face as soon as I, I smelled it. I kind of am away from it, so I haven't smelled it yet. But It smacked me right in the mouth and nose. <laughs> I don't pour oh, man, I'm smelling it, it now. It, it yeah, the smell is in the air for real. All right. Um, here's the here's the the color. Is yours going to look like mud again? I'm afraid so, but yep, that gun kind of <laughs> it's just, just your attic is like a hey, it's coming along. I, I I don't know if people who watch the videos have noticed but <laughs> yeah you got some sort we got, of wall we got now. some spray foam insulation and i'm starting to put up the drywall so yeah i'm just amazed at how different these look on from mine to yours <laughs> it's depressing they, they look uh, in, they, they look the same in, it, yeah, you know, yeah it might it might be because i have no lighting directly in front of me and directly Probably. behind me yeah I'm just making stuff up. Uh, I clearly don't know. So, <laughs> so I mean, it comes in completely hazy. I can't see anything through it. As far as yeah, we got we got to go ahead and put a nose on it because it is smacking me in the face. The head is already gone on mine. Is yours going away like that? Yeah, mine is mine is gone. I'm trying to get it back now. Mm. All right, let's shove our head, shove our head in it. <laughs> Not do that. 
Uh, we'll shove our noses in it, not our heads. Oh my gosh! Oh you, man, I yeah, can smell the oats. Nice. I can smell the oats. Yeah, it does have an odiness, but I'm getting like a huge also, bit of like a uh, like peach or something. I use this for the ghost town. Or the, I use the ghost one, ghost town. I use the I use the um for um ghost in the machine. Ghost in the machine. Yeah. I think I poured too much. Dude, it's got a bunch of peach. Yes. Also, there's something else like uh Yeah, there's something there. What is that? It smells like a little oh, bit, little bit like cantaloupe. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When, when I when I snapped it, grapefruit hit me right in the face. But yeah. I don't smell the grapefruit now. Yeah, I'm definitely getting melon though for sure. It's not like man. There's something that's really standing out, and I there's can't. Some, there's so many pin, things going like on. Like I can't here. pinpoint what it is. Like it smells so familiar to me. Like, is it? This smells creamy. Honestly, this smells like it's gonna be creamy. It's got a little bit of a like a slight dank thing to it, but it's not like no, it's like very slight. It's very slight, and it's not it's not like piney though. It's more like God, man, I don't even know how to word it. Like I feel like I'm a, this is my first beer review because I can't put any words in here. But like, I mean, it's different I'm, though. I mean, it's got a lot of, of a lot of uh, bright like citrusy fruits as well though it's on top of that peach orange a little bit of tiny bit of grapefruit maybe even the like grape, a little the, grape, like, the grapefruit hit hit me as soon as i opened the can like i mean I, I got smacked the can and it flew in flew like flew out kind of yeah oh and, also the cantaloupe is noticeable but i'm getting something else maybe like mango or something yeah just like a slight hint of that. Like, I don't know. It's it's very bright, though, and it's very aromatic. It's not like a weak nose or anything like that. This is exciting to smell, honestly. It is. Weird. It is. I, I'm actually excited to drink it. Should we go ahead and do it? Because I'm kind of wanting to. Oh, man. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Cheers. Yeah. Wow. The mouthfeel is there. It is. And it. this one's more juice forward than some of the other burial beers yeah. I've had. This one's it's got very, like a very prevalent, like, it's not, it doesn't have that, like, I don't know. I don't want to call it a stringency, but it's like, it doesn't have that heavy dose of pine in this one, like the other ones I've tried. This one's got a lot of, like, bright, like, juicy fruits going on. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of, there's a, hold on. He does have a little bit of an earthy, like, green type of character, but it's got a lot of juicy, like, orange, a little bit of grapefruit. This, I don't know if this is going to make sense, but it almost feels like the juice is all over your tongue. And there's, like, a, like a dankness kind of pulling at it, like, pulling yeah. your tongue back, like, from, like, almost like strings. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. it, it's not all over your tongue. It's like I always it, feel it, it on my heart. teeth a little bit. Like, it almost feels like it's, like pulling everything as you swallow it like everything's just dragging everything with it i can see that this is really good it is yeah it's got a little bit of a you getting like a little bit of like a oniony like garlic type of thing like a little bite yeah um i know the other day you told me to keep because i like to when i'm cooking i like to use herbs yeah, and like when I when I'm drinking this one, it kind of it kind of feels like I don't know if they actually use herbs when they do this. Just like they probably not, they probably don't actually use fruits for a lot of these either. Yeah, it's mostly just all coming from the hops. Yeah, it almost tastes like they threw in thyme in here. Yeah, just like a little herb. Which is ironic. Thing. Which is ironic because it's instructions for the underworld. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, no, like it feels like that's what that earthiness feels like. It's coming from <clears> the time. This, I don't know what this is. Something in here is just standing out to me, and I'd suck. It's so familiar, but I cannot pinpoint what it is. I don't know. I, I'm guessing it's just that citra because I've had a lot of citra hops, and it's kind of coming across 
like that. I'm getting a little bit of like a bitter grapefruit in there. Not so like a sweet. I'm getting more of like sweet orange, but like a little bit of like a bitter grapefruit type thing. Mm -hmm. It's like mango forward grapefruit end. Yeah. It almost has that too. Like when you drink orange not, juice after you're brushing your teeth and drink something like that. End, drink orange yeah. juice after you brush your teeth. Like it's got that thing going on. It's got that like, cause that's, so when you do that, it, to me, when I drink when I drink orange juice after brushing my teeth, I feel that pull on my tongue. Like it feels like yeah. my like my tongue's being like wrung dry kind of thing. Yeah. Like I get yeah. that at the end, like when I go to swallow. Yeah. But when it like when I'm when I'm when it's when I'm intaking, it doesn't take it doesn't it's not like no. that at all. No, it's on the back and it, it almost comes across like a menthol type of thing or something. That's good, man. I mean, it's got a really nice mouthfeel to it. There's no alcohol. I'm not picking up any alcohol. This is, I do think this is something that I wouldn't, I don't know that I would want to drink a lot of these at one time, though. No, like, I can like see it's, myself. It's heavy on the palate. So, a lot of what I was doing in the during the baseball playoffs was I would drink a yingling and then something fun like this. Yeah. That's probably what I would do with this. Uh, I probably wouldn't. I would probably wouldn't slam two of these back to back. Not because yeah. I can't, but yeah. because yeah, it's not about the alcohol. It's just no. I feel like it would just leave a lot of fatigue. Like it's just a yeah. lot going on, like in the yeah. mouth. Mm. That's great, though. That's awesome. Yes, that's one of my favorite ones I've had so far from them. Honestly, this is really good. Yeah. Um, so what do you, what, like, what do you think it would, where would you rate it as far as like a hazy IPA? I keep going back and forth on, um, I, I'm, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm leaning towards four or five, but I'm right there in the middle between four or five and four, two, five. Yeah. Um, if I would have been able to go there, I would have. I would have said like four four. Yeah. Um, but I'm probably just gonna stay on four five. Um, yeah. I, I'm generous when it comes to writing beers, anyways. Uh, I don't yeah. know if that's my lack of experience, but <laughs> hey, um, it, what it is, what it is, man. Hey, I'm I'm just a happy guy. That's easy to hey. easy to please. I mean, I'm gonna go four three. So I mean it's not that far off. I don't like, like I've said in some of our other videos where I've done with you, like what's the difference in four five and four, three, honestly, like it's yeah. something that we can't even really put into like, yeah, you know, so it can't, it can't be measured. So yeah, it might be the same. Who knows? But this is really fantastic. And so I, I mean, we both have rated it pretty high. So, um, I wasn't, I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting this. I, I, I mainly wanted this beer because I saw Holy Trinity of Hops. Yeah. Um, what what is the other part? What is the first part? The resolution with the gods. Yeah. Uh, I saw the skeleton and I saw a, a memorable a memorable name. Hey, labels on beer. I buy them all the time because of the label. So hey. Yes. Marketing for you, man. Hey, all of the <laughs> hey. Anybody watching this, you go to Burial, you go to their site, all of their cans are killer. Literally, yeah, yeah, for places. sure. And they ship but, to a lot of places too. That unfortunately they don't ship to us in Tennessee, but they do ship to a lot of different states. So uh, if you want to try their stuff, go to their website and check them out. But uh, uh, anyway, yeah. So Stephen so went four five. <laughs> I don't know, right? Stephen went four five. I'm going four three. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and a comment. Let us know what you think, and we will see you in the next one. We got one more. We're gonna do at some point soon. So yeah, so like a mini series. Yeah. Whatever. Label it whatever. Right. <laughs> See you guys. Cheers.